today I'm going to show you about how do I edit my pictures usually and this is the after and this is the before picture as you can see it's very different and here is the after picture and this is the before picture so the thing that I'm going to use is not the regular light ring that you you know download it and stuff but I'm using the online light ring it's a v2polar.com and you can really use it anytime that you want you don't have to download the light room and stuff so I think it's very efficient and now I'm going to import the picture that I'm going to show you guys about how do I edit it so I chose this picture and you can see it's very dark and not in my tone how you know my Instagram tone and stuff so first of all I'm gonna lift the temperature and tint so this is basically the histogram and this is where you arrange everything and I'm gonna add exposure for plus 20 gamma for 20 and then the contrast for like 10 you can always play with that depends on your picture and I'm Adding shadows again and blacks. That's what I usually do whenever I add whites or highlights. And the clarity would be 10. And then this is the tone curves, and you should play with this if your picture is like way too dark, like how my picture was. And just you know add a couple of dots and just play with that around, so, just so you can see about how does it change when you move it around and stuff. So that's what I usually do. I would, you know, make the background very visible for its color and the object would be, you know, bright enough for us to see. <coughs> and then I'm going to play with the color because my tone for the picture is a bit red-ish and stuff. So I think it's pretty necessary to make it that way. But we're not going to edit the four, you know, last colors because it's like we got no aqua or blue or purple or magenta in the picture. So basically you just, you know, play with the regular tone for the upper stuff. So you can, you know, see in your picture about what color contains in your picture and how you want to edit it just so it will match your tone and, you know, your Instagram or your gallery or stuff like that. I'm also going to play with the luminance just to, you know, emphasize the color again. You're just going to adjust everything just so it will be okay and right to my tone. Yeah, I decrease the orange here, so I think I need to make it a bit red-ish so that it will be very nuanced and has a very good ambience and yeah stuff <laughs> and then we're going to just sh sharpen it up now one thing i really want to suggest you guys is to always shoot in raw because i recently forgot to shoot in raw so i shoot in gpeg and it's pretty frustrating because my friend forgot to change the thing and I'm going to add the fignet again so we're going to like decrease it so then it will be darker on the you know on the sides and now we're going to get back again to the temperature and see about what matches the whole presets and things so this is the before and this is the after as you can see it's very different now we're going to just export it in the best quality and download it. Just because I'm like way too lazy to, you know, take a video from my phone and like do the editing in Fisco, I'm just going to explain to you guys here. So the thing that I'm using in the picture is F1 with, you know, not like in the 12th F1, but like I decrease it until it's 8. So what I suggest to you guys is to not use Fisco 
um, filters in the maximum <coughs> sorry in the maximum range of it so you should you should just like dec decrease it because it will look way more decent than you used like in the range of 12 and the thing that I always use others are like 0 5 and a7 and like e5 e4 e5 f1 hb2 and uh, double k1 m4 m5 m3 sometimes but not like that decent p8 and s1 and for the black and white I usually use x4 and that's basically how I edited it I would really adjust you know the contrast and everything again but like depends on the picture so on that picture I only use the effect straight away because I already edited it and like the polar dot co and I don't think I need further uh, you know further fix for the picture so I just use f1 and then decrease it until it's decrease the range until it's 8 and that's basically how I edit my picture